I, I, I will get uh, a lot of email and, and none of it friendly if I don't give you a chance to talk about the future potentially of nuclear fusion propulsion. What kind of work is going forward with that? And uh, if you if you don't mind looking into a crystal ball, because it's always been to me, it's always been neck and neck with the conversation about boots on Mars, you know, 20 years out, 30 years out. But it feels like we're getting a little closer. It does, doesn't it? And I think that's because there's there's an international investment in fusion science and technology that's that's been persistent over the last few decades. And uh, ignition is one of the the fundamental challenges with fusion: sustained ignition, sus- sustained fusion. Um, how you fuel a fusion system of, of tomorrow, I think, is uh, is an interesting topic and thread to to pull on in a moment. But uh, I think if you just look at the the types of technology, there's uh, a lot of good investment there. Um, I think generating electricity is is one front. There's direct use of fusion for propulsion. Um, and, you know, we, we all recognize that uh, these these advancements are going to come uh, with, uh, with, with industry and other investments from the governments around the world that are looking at fusion science. So that is going to help tomorrow's propulsion system. Today, of course, the focus is on nuclear fission and radioisotope power. 